we'll get ourselves a drone, hopefully. Don't know how many shops we've been in now. I think I've lost count. So we are pretty sure that they don't have any drones and that we have to order one. So that's the best we're going to be able to do. It's crazy though, on these islands or around on the mainland, which is going to be one of the best places to take a drone out, that they don't have them in stock. And they said they don't seem to sell many. Every, we've been to like five or six shops and nowhere have they had, they've had display models in one and that's it. We start filming just as you had a mouthful. Right, sorry about that, but Nick decides to get the camera out just as I'm eating a big fat roll of peanut butter for my breakfast. Yes, we're going on a hike very soon because the weather has changed. We have some sunshine, we've got clear skies. So we haven't vlogged for a couple of days. It's been very miserable, very overcast, very low clouds, and we just haven't done anything. Well, she says we haven't done anything, but we have been busy editing, trying to catch up on our vlogs, which we are doing now, nearly there. Um, but we are pretty much out of power. We were considering staying at a campsite, and if it gets back to being grey weather, we may have to bite the bullet and do that. It is crazy here. You don't actually get a weather forecast or you do, but you have to check it like daily. Yesterday we checked the weather. Today was supposed to be really miserable. Again, we wake up, we open the curtain. Oh, lovely surprise. Yeah, look at this beautiful blue sky day we've got today. What a difference a day makes. So it's literally changing every day, but that's a good thing, I suppose, because it's like you wake up in the morning, you don't know what's happening. You could be editing all day or being miserable, or you could be going on a beautiful hike or going swimming in the lake. So yes, we're making the most of the weather today. We're getting off on this hike after a secondary coffee. <laughs> Don't stop scratching my back. <laughs> hey. Yeah, because it's been grey the last few days. Charlie's been missing out. He's getting a bit down, so we're going to treat him to a nice breakfast today. A little cheeky bit of peanut butter as a treat. Some bananas and honey. What do you want? Charlie's being um, overly loving and kind to me this morning. Um, could be because he knows there's peanut butter around. Or it could be just because he's the sweetest dog in the world. So yeah, don't worry guys, we only give the dogs a very, very small amount of peanut butter and Charlie literally has like a teaspoon of honey per day and the same with banana. Banana and honey are good for dogs but only in very small doses and it's a good way for them to eat their biscuits because sometimes they're a bit, oh no, I don't want to eat those biscuits, I want something with them. So that's his little breakfast done. And by the way, also I do clean the doggy's teeth. And don't worry guys, we'll also be cleaning the spoon. <laughs> Talk about breakfast in bed. Honey on one side, peanut butter on the other. <laughs> <laughs> Thoroughly. <laughs> It's a tough one, it's a real tough one. Come on boys. The boys make this look so easy, don't they? Go, go, go. Nearly there. Come on, boys. See a lot of these walks on Senya and here on the Lofoten Islands are really quite steep. But the good thing about that is it's not long before you just get epic views and then you have those views for the rest of the walk. I mean, check out that behind us. We made it to 
the ridge in between these two peaks. We can actually see Vinny down there on the edge of the lake. But what surroundings? I mean, what a view. It's just crazy here. You just, you just got jagged mountains everywhere you look. Out to sea, there's islands of jagged mountains. You can see across to the mainland, just full of jagged mountains. It's unbelievable. These two are the ultimate little hiking doggies, aren't you? Yeah, you are. You're brilliant, aren't you? Lion King, eat your heart out. <laughs> <laughs> This is Charlie in his absolute element when we're doing hikes. You love it, don't you, little one? <laughs> you love it. It's so excited. Yeah, you love it. Check out the view. Where are you gone? What are you doing up there? Right, enough's enough now, love. Come back down. This is your first go. You don't want to get cocky. Love! that was awesome i can't believe the guy just let me have a go just get up here and he just lets me go out on his paragliding unfortunately i didn't turn the gopro on did i so i didn't get any footage but not bad for my first go hey eh? what do you think i think you were getting a little bit too cocky and don't worry because i got it all on camera right enough messing about now it's time to get back down this mountain free food on the way down and um, we've just seen a local eating these berries so we asked him and um, he said yeah of course he did because he was eating them and yeah they're really really nice are they like mini blueberries they are aren't they yeah wild blueberries a little bit worried that the dogs may weed on this patch on the way up Love. <laughs> the moisture i'm hoping it's a bit of rain and not dog weedy <laughs> It's just getting better and better this hike. We found more berries. This time, raspberries. We're just growing here by the side of the, the, the footpath, the, the walk. Oh, so good, so sweet. Mm. This is the third wild berry that we've picked in Norway so far, different ones. So yes, very happy. Basically, the water we bring is always just for the dogs. We sacrifice our own needs for them. Yes, it does look like we're feeding about eight people today for lunch in this van. But um, yeah, when I'm doing like a, like a chili or a bolognese or anything like that, it's good to do a big pot. Last trip, we only had this size pot, the smaller one. And now we've bought one this size, it's big enough to do, you know, two days meals in it. And as it's really cold at night, you wouldn't think so because it's absolutely boiling today. As it's really cold at night, we can keep that and it'll be absolutely fine for tomorrow. So on today's menu, we have a nice lentil bolognese with lots of lentils mushrooms tomatoes carrots some bay leaves garlic onions oh all sorts going on in that pan 
and lots of flavours. So I think after we've had our lunch and let our food settle in our bellies, I think we will be back on that set board, or we'll definitely go for a swim at least. left it a little bit too late so this little lake swim is probably not going to be as nice as it was two hours ago the sun was out then and now it's gone behind the mountain completely gray and a little bit nippy it's a little bit too late it's nine o'clock in the evening now <laughs> but we're gonna go for it anyway aren't we charlie we all need a wash all a bit smelly aren't we charlie <laughs> <laughs> come on let's go do me love was not bad at all obviously very cold when you first get in but once you're in it was lovely so that is 9 p.m arctic lake swimming at its finest <laughs> thanks for watching hope you enjoyed the video if you did please give us a thumbs up and hit that like button below if you haven't subscribed to our channel then please do and keep the comments coming because we absolutely love to hear from you and we'll see you in the next video